Coming up on Mountain News This Morning, a Whitley County man was sent to life in prison for murder. And one farm had a barn collapse, which led to them losing almost half of their cattle. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Chas Gayhart. It is six o'clock on July 28th, and it is a Friday, but it is not your normal, typical Friday, is it, Cameron? It is not, no, <laughs> we got the, I don't know what you call us, we're not Olivia, we're not Brandon, that Chas, so we're just kind of the backup team here we on this We are. <laughs> but yeah, we got The a, misfit backup team that exactly comes right, in. That's exactly right, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a busy day out there today. We have some heat to watch out for, possibly a few showers and storms to watch out for, and also the one year anniversary of the historic flooding from July of 2022 also going on today. So a busy day on tap across the mountains. Many people outside today, so be sure to please stay hydrated. Also wear the sunscreen and just be sure to take breaks in the shade because a very warm day is on tap. Now this morning we are mild and muggy. Here's a live look from the WYNT studio and as you can see some low visibility and some low hanging clouds moving over Perry County this morning. That current temperature at 70 degrees. Most of us waking up in the middle to lower 70s and also most of us are dry this morning. But we are tracking a few light showers close to West Liberty and Morgan County. So just a heads up there. If you live near the Mountain Parkway or just in the north of the Mountain Parkway, possibly a few sprinkles early this morning. Most of us are dry, though. Most of us do stay dry on Friday. Only a small chance of a stray shower. If you have any plans to go out to get some ice cream, a really nice day to do so. Temperatures top out in the middle 90s. The heat index possibly above 100 by this afternoon. More details on that coming up in just a few minutes. Chess. Thanks, Cameron. Well, a Whitley County man was sentenced to life in prison after murdering a pregnant federal witness. Court records revealed 33-year-old Daniel Scott Nance of Woodbine participated in drug trafficking from March 2017 to March 2019. Some of Nance's suppliers and co-conspirators were indicted by a federal grand jury. One of them was Jerry D. Johnson. Police say Nance learned Johnson was cooperating with law enforcement and decided to kill her. In Bell County, a woman was shot and flown to a hospital. Officials say she was shot in the neck. The incident occurred on Highway 987 near Laurel Hill. Pineville Police and the Bell County Sheriff's Department responded to the call. It is unknown at this time if the shot was intentional or accidental. Deputies with the Whitley County Sheriff's Office are looking for a missing man. They say 38-year-old William Rapier was last seen on July 17th in the Pleasant View community. Officials describe Rapier as a six feet tall and 140 pound with brown eyes and brown hair. He was last seen wearing a black shirt and blue jeans. If you have any information, you can contact Whitley County Dis Dispatch at 606-549-6017. Officials with the Pikeville Police Department are asking for help identifying three men about an ongoing investigation. Officials say the three men you're looking at on your screen were in a black passenger car. Pikeville PD says if you have any information about the case, you can call them at 606-437-5111. Officials with the Floyd County Sheriff's Department are looking for a stolen motorbike. They say a 2022 KTM motorbike was taken from the Oxshire community early Wednesday morning. Officials say they also noticed a maroon four-door Dodge truck following the bike after it was stolen. If you have any information about the incident, you can call the Floyd County Sheriff's Department at 606-886-6171. Traffic safety is at the forefront of many officials' minds in Lexington this week after three deadly crashes. With several crashes and incidents happening throughout the state this summer, AAA says when it comes to this time of year, many factors can lead to a traffic incident. With the recent incidents in Lexington, AAA of the Bluegrass reminds people to always be aware. Aggressive driving, which includes speeding and things like going through stoplights, that's one. Uh, secondly, impaired driving, whether it's drugs or alcohol, and that includes uh, drugs that you may have a prescription for and over the counter as well, but may impair your driving, so you have to be mindful of that. And then the third one is distracted driving, and we certainly uh, can see evidence of that as well. 
Hawkins also says to look out for construction zones and other work areas. AAA encourages drivers to buckle up, adding that that could be the difference between life or death in a crash. Construction of the controversial Mountain Valley Pipeline through West Virginia and Virginia can resume. The Supreme Court agreed to lift lower court orders that froze construction while legal challenges play out. Justice has granted an emergency request from backers of the Mountain Valley Project to allow construction to resume. The pipeline's planned route is about 300 miles long. Staff at the Kentucky Governor's Office has announced grant money for economic development projects in our region. The City of Somerset gets $1.5 million in funding to help the Somerset-Pulaski Economic Development Authority pay for project engineering. And Menifee County Fiscal Court will receive nearly $150,000 for their industrial park. In all, seven counties are getting grant money. The Clark County Fire Department responded to a call about a barn that collapsed on top of the farm's cattle Wednesday morning. Officials don't know what caused the collapse, but they say poor weather conditions could be to blame for the collapse that killed seven out of 15 cattle. Went through the process of uh, making sure the structure was sound and safe enough for us to go inside and remove all the live cattle that was remaining. Clark County Road and Solid Waste Department helped assist in the response. Supervisor Alan Curtis says Clark County is a small farming community that will always take care of its neighbors. The CDC says skin cancer is the most common form of cancer across the U.S. And with summer in full swing, skin cancer specialists are, wearing, are warning everyone of the risks that come with extended sun exposure. UK Chief of Pediatric Hematology and Oncology, Dr. John DeRazio, says some skin cancers include squamous and basal cell carcinomas, most commonly seen in older people and melanoma, which is the deadliest and impacts people of all ages. Guidelines for checking your skin frequently and going to get you know, skin checks by a professional um, are intended to catch these cancers early while they're more treatable. Dr. DeRazio adds, even though it is mo more common than those with lighter complexions to get skin cancer, it is still possible for those with deeper skin tones to get it. The first Country Music Highway tribute show will take place Saturday in downtown Paintsville. Food and arts and crafts vendors open at 11 a.m. Music starts at 2 p.m. and the shows are free. Due to the heat, free water will be handed out and we will have a booth and be doing guest weather. So stop by and say hello. Well, if you're going out to any festivals or possibly any memorials on Friday or Saturday, be sure to grab the water and also the sunscreen because a warm next few days is on tap across the mountains. That is why we have a first alert weather day in place across the region as we are tracking possibly the warmest temperatures so far this year on Friday. Also on Saturday, we could see temperatures in the middle to maybe upper 90s heat index values, possibly above 100 degrees by the afternoon hours. On the radar this morning, we are dry for most of us. Only a few light sprinkles near the Morgan, also Elliott County line. Most of us are dry, though, and most of us do stay dry for the rest of your Friday. Only a small chance of a few stray showers. The big story is the temperature, middle to lower 90s. Once you factor in the dew point, heat index values above 100. So the AC is definitely getting a workout on Friday, so be sure to crank it up, especially for the afternoon hours. Chess? Thanks, Cameron. And thank you for joining Mountain News this morning. More news is on the way. Coming up, the Senate passed its own version of a national defense bill, and now it is waiting for the House to do the same.